In this video, I'll show you how to display your WooCommerce stock status on your shop page and category page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our shop page and we're currently displaying our inventory status. It's a similar setup on our category pages as well. So it's just a convenient way for our customers to quickly filter the products and to see whether it's in stock or not, and then to quickly go ahead and purchase the product. So you can also customize the look and feel of this particular product table. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooCommerce product table plugin by WooSuite. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. And now the second step, assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite product table plugin, is just to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the file in which you've just installed. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key and then go ahead and toggle this product table plugin to on. Before we do anything else, we need to take care of a few housekeeping. So we need to make sure that we actually have got um, inventory management enabled. Um, most likely you already have. If you haven't, then I'll quickly show you how you can do that. So you just navigate to WooCommerce settings and then we'll navigate to products and then we'll navigate to inventory and we'll just make sure um, the stock management is enabled. So we just take this here and then here as well for the display format, you can go ahead and choose how you'd like to display your stock status. Go ahead and save changes. And once that's done, we're ready to get started. And now the third step is to navigate to WooSuite and then go ahead and click on product table. And now the next step is to go ahead and add a new table. Since I've already created one, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this product table. In your case, you'll just click add new table. Okay, so now we just need to give this table a name. So I'm going to call this one default shop page and it's just for internal purposes. Um, so if you've got multiple different product tables, then you'll know exactly what each one's doing. Here where it says order form, quick order form page, I'm going to set this to select a page. Okay, because if we select a page here, it will automatically insert this product table onto that page. So I'm just going to so I'm just going to set it to select a page that means it won't show on any pages. Okay. So now we'll navigate to order form information. Now I'm just going to clear this in your case, it will appear blank. Okay. So all we'll have to do is we'll go ahead and drag and drop the different column headings onto this section here. So I'm adding the product name, product image, um, the stock status, the short description and the product price, and also, uh, the add to cart button. Okay, now we can rearrange it by dragging and dropping it. And we can also edit the column name as well. So I'm going to name this one products. I'm going to leave everything as it is for now. So if you want, we can just save changes and then we can view our shop page and we should be able to see our stock status. So I'm just going to save changes here. We'll come back to this page and we'll configure a few more settings, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And now when we head back to our main settings area here where it says shop pages i'm going to go ahead and select that product table in which i just created because this will replace our default um, shop page so i'm just going to go ahead and select it for product category and also the shop page now i'm going to hit save changes and now when we view our shop page we should see our product table with our stock status as well so here we can see our product table. So we can see the product name, the product image, the product description, and here we've got the stock status as well. So it's super convenient for your users whilst they're shopping. They can see exactly what's in stock, how many quantities they are, and they can quickly just add stuff to their basket. In terms of convenience as well, the user can quickly go ahead and filter the products by a particular category, a particular attributes, and any other um, filtering options which you've got enabled. Okay, and if we navigate to a category page, we'll see this same layout on the category page as well. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and customize this product table a bit more. Okay, so we'll navigate back here and then we'll edit the product table. Okay, let's carry on where we left off at order form information. Um, so we've got the image size. So if we wanted, we can make the image slightly bigger. So this is in pixels. So let's say a 150 pixel width by a 150 pixel height. In fact, I'm going to set this to 200 and this to 150. Okay, I'm going to leave everything as default for now. If you wanted, we could um, rename the add to cart button. So I'm just going to select buy here. 
okay bulk add to cart so this is optional maybe you want to enable your customers to be able to bulk add um, multiple products to cart in my case i've enabled um, the add to cart button as well as a checkbox you can do it button only and then in terms of adding products to cart i'm going to enable the ajax add to cart behavior and then for quantities i'm going to enable this option as well so the user is able to choose the quantities on the shop page okay and for our variation settings we've got a few options here so we can either link the users to the product page so they can go ahead and select their um, variation or we can display the variation as a drop down or we can show it on a separate row okay so i'm going to select drop down for now if you've also got our quick view plugin installed which is free you can also select the you can also set it so it will pop up in a quick view model and then they'll be able to choose their um, selection from there okay so i'm going to leave this as it is for our bulk add to cart button so here it just says add selected to cart so i'm going to leave that as it is and then for form control okay so i'm going to leave most of these as default um, for our filters so what we can do is we can set this to um, based on the product table column or we can choose a custom filter and if you click this link here you'll see the list of all available filters so in my case i've added a category filter a tag filter and let's add a attribute filter as well so for the attributes filter i'm just going to add attributes and let's remove this sale filter okay so i'm going to leave a lot of these as default i'll just enable this reset button here so if a user selects certain filters they're able to quickly reset it with one click and we can customize the form design here or we can just set it to default we can enable um, a headless um, table and then for our performance setting this is useful if you've got thousands of products but if you've got a hundred or so then it should be fine i'll just leave everything as it is then we just save changes now when we head back to our shop page our image size should increase okay and that's looking a lot cleaner okay and now we've also got our attributes filter as well so we can select all gray products so this is what i meant by the filter we can just quickly reset it so if we've got multiple filters enabled we can just quickly reset it as well and we can bulk add multiple products to cart as i mentioned earlier and there we go and that's the display WooCommerce stock status on your shop and category page without touching a single line of code. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.